Hey everybody, Drew here and you're in my shop with this 98 Corolla. This has a common or somewhat common issue where your, uh-oh, I guess it's here in my hand, uh, your odometer will go blank and you won't have a speed readout and it drives all jerky and it throws a check engine light for the speed sensor, but you've changed the speed sensor on the back of the transmission and that doesn't help. Well, I'm here to tell you, and there is a video in the description you need to watch. It's not on my channel. It's the guy who figured all this out. You see that little blue thing right there? Right in the dead center of your screen, it's blue. It's next to the computer chip, uh, to the right of that silver shiny thing to the left of the computer chip. Looks like a blue pill. And there's its three terminals right there um, that it's soldered to the board with, dead center of your screen. That's called a passive, or a, excuse me, a ceramic radiator. Uh, I believe, Re ceramic resonator, there we go. Yep, I ordered the part quite a while ago and have been putting this job off because it's not fun. Um, by the way, there's two screws right there. You see the holes that hold uh, this hood in. Be careful, mine's brittle because it's a Southern car and that bottom piece cracked off, I got to fix. Uh, then there's a screw, dead center of your screen, dead center of your screen, and then on that silver tab um, to get out this assembly. And then on the back of the assembly are a couple of screws you see one poking through right there uh, all five of those holes have screws and then the speedometer assembly just comes right out the guy uh, his video is really long you should watch it i'm trying to make mine short and sweet so for those that have the competence to um actually do this job uh, just saving you some time and trouble so the bottom the odometer's there uh from uh, there the writing on the um resonator points up there will be a link in the description at least info in the description if not a link on where to buy those uh but um it, this should be a relatively easy job for those who can solder and it does solve that issue so that said it's kind of interesting they have uh the revs per mile Anyway, uh, hopefully this is helpful. And again, I don't want full credit for this here. I'm just showing you how to tear into the car and get to it and giving you the short and sweet. The guy who figured out that it's the ceramic resonator, uh, he deserves credit. You should watch his video and subscribe to his channel. But I'm Drew and my job is to show you uh, just how doable these things are for yourself. If I could do it, you could do it. I wasn't born with these gifts uh, and talents. They've, you know, I just stuck to something because I had to and I made it through. So I've been blessed. I hope you are too. But before I sign off completely, I thought I should show you, I do use a butane. Pardon the mess here. It's uh, It's been a long winter already. And yeah, anyway, um, this is a butane. I'll put a link to this on Amazon. This has changed my life. It just heats up so uh, crazy fast. It's actually still on. That's not good. There we go. Heats up crazy fast, does the job. I use that when I repair Prius gauge clusters as well. Um, I got this gizmo. I think I got this at Harbor Freight, whatever. It just holds things for you and it has a magnifying glass. And I just wanted to show you what I did. Like the guy who discovered how to do this, I bent mine back and forth till it fell off. Obviously, I'm going to get that out of there till it fell off on the inside. But unlike him, I did not solder it to the back. I cleaned off those solder points and pulled out what was left of those the little tabs on the old one. And then, uh, as you might expect, the spacing on the new ones uh, is the same as the spacing on the old ones. So that very easily just soldered right in, uh, went into the, the holes that I cleaned out, and then I just bent one of them over to hold it in place while I soldered, added a little bit of solder, of course, and soldered it back together. So I'm going to put it in the car and hope for the best. Okay, there we are. Mileage is accurate, car is good and warm. This usually only happens when it's really warm, which is probably why the person in Virginia that I got it from uh, ditched it because it's a purse, uh, perfect car otherwise, only 109,000 miles on a rust-free 98 Corolla. Uh, it is P0500, that's the code, which of course I am now going to erase. Uh, this is a Foxwell uh, 510 Elite Toyota-specific software loaded on it. It's a great great scanner you could load all the brands um which i might be able to show you let's see here do you want to exit pardon the radio silence folks so i have toyota honda mazda and hyundai loaded right now i have dodge and chevy also uh great scan tool i'll post a link in the description eventually if you want it but that's a successful fix 
Um, obviously, this video will never make it through editing and be posted if it's not successful. So, I mean, in theory, something still could go wrong, but it's definitely that passive radiator. It's been replaced. Everything still works. Uh, and yeah, I hope you were entertained and you found it helpful. Again, I cannot say enough, guys. You've got to watch the video from the guy who discovered this shenanigan. I just, I, I used his data and then I dug into my, his wasn't a Corolla. It's just all old Toyotas. Um, you know, but it's, uh, you know, I wouldn't have been able to do it without him. I still wanted to show you guys the process. I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, if you're entertained, a thumbs up and a subscribe, but you must also give him a thumbs up and a subscribe because he, without him, I wouldn't have known it was the passive radiator. So anyways, if I could do it, you could do it. We'll see you in the next video. God bless. Bye.